What is going on guys, Angel here. Welcome to my Cigar Lounge. And today is August 3rd. I know it's been a while guys. I've been so busy. But without further ado, we're gonna be smoking my sixth cigar. And it's none other than Yartro Fuente, let me say this right, Reserva Anejo, Anejo Extra Viejo. And uh, this is a very rare cigar and I can't wait to get in with you all. So I hope you all enjoy the video. Alrighty, so I know, let me go ahead and explain why it's been two months since I smoked a cigar. One, I've been very busy, and two, it has been so hot in Virginia this summer, it's not even funny. Like, every day feels like it's 100 degrees outside, guys. It's insane. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and talk about the notes really quick. I'm really excited to smoke this one. Apparently, it's super rare to get one of these things, and uh, I'm glad. Big shout out to Ian. He was the one, he was the first person who actually sent me cigars, and then Daniel. Uh, was the second person so shout out to both of y'all but i'm finally smoking one of the ones that daniel sent me and i had this one in the humidor uh, in a nice ziploc bag with a bovita pack at about 69 percent so it's ready to go uh, i'm going to go ahead and give you all a close-up of what it looks like but it's a beautiful looking wrapper uh nice presentation it's got those nice bumps in there uh very toothy i guess if you would call it and uh, you can see the veins in this one it looks like an amazing cigar they even put a cedar sleeve on this so this is my first cigar where they do this with um, having a cedar sleeve and they even added a little red uh, a little red sticker at the bottom here to keep the bottom intact so nothing rips apart uh, you can definitely tell they took their time with this one the wrapper is going to be a Connecticut broadleaf uh, the binder is uh, from Dominican Republic you also have the filler from Dominican Republic you also have the origin is going to be Dominican Republic and it's a full body cigar uh, the price on this one is going to range from nine upwards to even twenty dollars in some areas each brand the fact that they're able to do this with a cigar and have it to burn slow and just the handcraftness it's so hard to find stuff that's handmade and for it to not be super expensive even twenty dollars really isn't that expensive obviously you're smoking something that was twenty dollars but you guys buy fireworks that are like fifty dollars so you can't really be too upset at what you're getting um another thing the notes on this are going to be oak pepper you have sweetness, you're going to have some coffee, vanilla, and apparently cognac as well. Uh, apparently they might have been aged. I think this was aged in a barrel aged cigar. Just as a heads up, you guys already know that I'm outside. It is currently 8, 821. Y'all hear the sirens going by. You already know what it is. But I love hearing these types of sounds. I like being able to hear the outside weather. Uh, it is currently, I think, 72 degrees. We'll go ahead and check one more time. And again, like I said, it's August 3rd, 2021. The temperature is now 71 degrees, and it's gonna be continue to drop to about 63 till tonight. Um, like I said, it's 821 right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and get up in this smoke session. Go ahead and take the sleeve off, cut it down, and get it lit. All right, so we'll take that little red band off. And the sleeve here. Like I said, I don't normally see any brand do this, but I'm pretty sure there are other brands that do this with the sleeve on a uh, tobacco or on a cigar itself. I think it's a nice touch, though. It helps also keep the flavor in with the cigar. So yeah, the sticker is kind of on here for it to be so. You would think it would fade out with the stickiness, but no. All right, so we're not even gonna try to get the sticker off because it's not coming off. I was able to slide it off. All right, so this is the cigar once again. Very beautiful looking cigar. Like I said, it's pretty toothy. Get you all a close up. Nice and veiny. Doesn't look too oily, but it does have a little shimmer to it. This one smells good. That wood is coming in strong. I smell some pepper in here. I'm ready to sneeze already. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get it cut first things first. Uh, I haven't got the V cut yet. That is the next purchase, or the, really the last purchase that I need to do is the V cut, but I'll do that really soon. The goal is definitely to get a V cut and a punch one also. Pretty good. 
I don't know what you guys think. I might do just a little bit because I don't want to have those little pieces of tobacco. Alright, it looks like it's good enough. I don't want to put go too low as always, but that looks good enough. Hold on. Nice draw. Really nice draw. Not too tight. Not too loose. You can tell they did their work on this one. Now, the moment of truth. I finally get to light this thing outside because it's warm outside. Y'all know the routine. If you haven't been here on this channel, I have the craziest problems every time when I need to film. The lighter never wants to work. Just like now. Oh, there we go. No, it's working. It's lit. It's lit. And then I also have my vector one because this one actually has been coming in handy a lot lately. Uh, obviously, it takes a minute. And now apparently it's out. For that reason right there, I also have a refueler butane that we're going to go ahead and do that right now. All right, we're good to go. I just refilled it. Uh, literally took like two minutes. Um, funny thing about this is that I knew it was about to go out because I, at home, sometimes I'm just lighting the thing. And I already know I'm wasting it, but I just like lighting it sometimes. I don't know. It's just like kind of like a fidget spinner type of thing for me. But I don't know if that's like a thing that smoker people just do when you have a lighter around, but you just like clicking it for some reason. Also, the mosquitoes are out here today, so I'm going to try to not smoke this fast, obviously, but I definitely want to get it done <laughs> because sooner or later, the mosquitoes are going to come out here. They always come out here at night, uh, especially when I come home from work. There's always moss around. So I am going to try to get this done before at least like, I guess, 10 now because it is 830. So yeah. All right, let's get this going. It's a nice size cigar too. It looks really good. All right, so we are going to use the Vector one and I'll use my Calibri if I ever need to touch this up. Um, I am going to honestly start doing, I guess, a real review. I have been doing reviews from the jump, but now I'm going to start getting a little more technical with the cigars. Um, I think I need to start doing that one because a lot more people are starting to watch this series uh, a lot more you all want to see me kind of go more in full in depth with it and that's exactly what I'm gonna do so let's go ahead and get this thing lit up without further ado you see that here we go toast it as always Okay, so the opening. The opening is good. The opening is a lot of pepper. The opening is very smooth, like off the bat, it's just super smooth. Oh yeah, very smooth. But it's work. It's burning like a chimney. That vector, it burns really hard, guys. So I would talk to y'all in the first third. All right, so we're coming into the first third here. Um, what can I say about the cigar? It's very smooth still. I don't. I'm not getting anything specific right now uh the burn i don't know if it had got cracked or something in fact let me try to get the light on this so look at it really closely right there on that spot i don't know what happened there i don't know if there was a crack already in there but i don't really think that's affecting it you know y'all always like to take points off for being cracked i don't really feel like sometimes it has to do with really the person who wrapped it i think sometimes just the leaf 
and in the process of it shipping it can also crack um, or dry out rip maybe but I'm not having any problems with the taste of it so I don't like to just knock off points or something like that and I don't really have a point scale for this type of thing um, I don't really know what you know they have they have that hundred scale rating but I guess I'll I'll do the hundred scale maybe on like my tenth cigar I might do like the hundred scale okay so the notes I'm getting right now I'm getting some woodiness um, it's definitely sweet though it's not bad though it, it's really smooth it's smoother than my uh, Don Carlos that I had uh, this is my second Arturo Fuente cigar and this is the second time now that I do like it once again uh, I'm starting to notice that I really like this brand and a lot of other people like this cigar I've seen nothing but amazing reviews so I will talk to y'all in the second third guys so we're in the second third now uh, I am having a little bit of burn issues um, so it, it seems like this one actually wasn't wrapped correctly it wasn't just some shipping defect type of thing but yeah the it's definitely so got some awkward burn stuff going on I've touched it up a little bit um, that's the only problem that I've had though the the flow or really the taste and everything is still consistent the only new thing uh, like I said a little bit earlier was that I got some coffee notes and I do taste some more woodier notes like that oakiness to it um, other than that though it's been consistent which is a good thing which is what you would want a cigar uh, sometimes you guys want to have like crazy stuff with your cigar to change like it's like it's adapting or something but as far as the cognac notes I'm not getting any of that but I will say like I said it's sweet it's definitely smooth and um, I like it how would I rate it so far? Well, you gotta wait to the end for that one. But I will talk to y'all very soon. Alright guys, so we are coming up on the final third right now. Uh, consistency, I guess you would say, is key on this cigar because nothing has changed. And I guess that's probably the best part. I'm coming up on the end now. Um, it's not heating up or anything like which is a good thing I think that's also because it's starting to get colder it feels absolutely perfect right now it feels like a fall you know a, just a fall day outside right now it's 9 about to be 9 it's 929 about to be 930 uh, I forgot to set my timer I set it like 10 minutes late so it was about at about I think 835 so I imagine this is about an hour and a half cigar and I literally have been taking my time with this one uh, as far as burn issues, it's definitely prevalent on this cigar, but not to the point where I'm like, oh, uh, this is annoying, but I just noticed that this one in particular, uh, it has had some burn issues. I've touched it up uh, quite a bit, but it's starting to kind of level out now that it's coming towards the end, which obviously you don't really want that, but the taste is still there. The taste is amazing. Uh, doing some more retro hails, I'd say... I'm getting a lot of that roasted coffee note now and it's really good like I'm really enjoying this cigar um, if I had to rate it you know I don't I can't rate anything right now uh, the only thing I can really give to you all is that I enjoy it and I'm gonna rate it between I guess the other five that I smoked um, where is this going to fall? Where is this going to fall? So, trying to remember all of them now. So, the first one obviously was Davidoff. Y'all can check that video out. Now, almost at 200,000 views. So, thank you all so much. Seriously, I never would have thought a cigar video would have gotten that many views. 
Um, so that was a Davidoff. That was like a twenty dollars cigar, and I burnt the crap out of that thing. So you got you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy it. I'll leave it in the link description below, and it's probably already popped up in the top right corner. But as far as the other ones, I'm gonna go ahead and say I had the Perdomo, then I had the yeah, Arturo Fuente. That was my second cigar. But oh, Perdomo, I think, was my third cigar. And for some reason, I cannot remember what the fifth cigar I had was. Oh, wait. No. This is my seventh cigar, guys. I'm tripping. So, I haven't made that video yet. But there was a Cuban cigar that I had. And I was at Carowinds, actually. Let me go ahead and talk about this story, actually. Dang, that's good. <laughs> I love Arturo Fuente. Um... Yeah, so, I'm tripping. This is my seventh cigar. So, I'm going to have to switch the title and everything now. I had a Cuban cigar in Carowinds. If you haven't seen that video, it's going to come out before this one. So, regardless, you might see two videos kind of back-to-back, -back, even though they're definitely two months apart. But, I went to Carowinds in, like, March. Uh, and it was for, like, the Passover day. So, what ended up happening is that the... Oh, my gosh, y'all. The, um, uh, I had both lighters, right? I had both lighters. I said, just in case something happens, and my stupid self should have actually brung my butane because they ended up both running out, um, unknowingly. I had no idea because when I was on the trip, it was definitely, like, almost full. But what ended up happening, it got chilly that night, and I was like, oh, crap. And it ended up kind of, like, drying out the cigar, and it just didn't go well. I was so upset because that was a Cuban cigar. I was like, you got to be kidding me. I do remember, though, when I did get it lit, uh, that first opening, it was pretty good. It wasn't anything crazy. It definitely gave me that grassy hay vibe. But it wasn't bad, though. I forget the name of it. I think it was like a Siri D. Partagas. Is, I think I, that's how you say it, Partagas. Siri D. Number four, if I'm correct. That cigar wasn't bad, but it's definitely at the bottom. Just simply because of the experience that I had. I'll have to honestly get another Cuban cigar. Which is going to be hard to do. Especially right now. So if anyone's willing to send me one. Uh, I'm not going to mess it up this time. That's for sure. If I get another one. Uh, those are really hard to come by. But that one's probably at last place at this point. So if I had to put it in order now. I'm going to say. The Arturo Fuente is my number one. Don Carlos Bellicoso Cameroon. That's my favorite one right now. I love that cinnamon note in there, and then it had the had those woody notes in that one. That was an amazing cigar. <laughs> I'm glad y'all saw that on camera. I don't play about these bugs, y'all. That's why I said I got to get my own like little like screened-in porch once I get this apartment. I can't do this no more, guys. Oh my gosh, that was not a normal mosquito. Yo, we got a cut. Hold on. Now, rating it once again. Number one, Don Carlos Bellicosa Cameroon. Number two is going to go to Perdomo. Uh, I really like that one. That was really good. I really like that bourbon barrel-aged cigar. That was amazing. That was an awesome cigar. I think that was a Puro, too. Really good cigar. Uh, and then number three is going to probably be the Davidoff. Then this one. The extra... Let me make sure I say this right. Reserva Anejo Extra Viejo, which is old, extra old in Spanish, basically. The next one after that is probably going to be the My Father's, and the last one is going to be the uh, Cuban Cigar. So, I think that was seven. If I'm missing one, you can check the series in the playlist to see all that. Thank you all for watching so much. I really appreciate y'all for rocking with me. I know it's been a minute. And I'm really backed up on videos just because of how busy I've been. But I promise once I get a better like PC, I'll be able to just push out content like easily. Especially when I actually get a, to a place where there's good Wi-Fi. Because in my area right now, high speed Wi-Fi is not high speed. Um, that's for a whole nother topic. But it'll say 65 megabytes per second. And it's actually really like 12 megabytes per second. Um, I don't know what to do. Like I, if I could bring a fiber optic cable... I would like I, I don't know what else to do like we've tried calling the people to get better internet it's just trash out here in the boondocks 
Um, and you can't really do anything about that. But like I said, thank you all for watching once again. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to enable push notifications if you want to join that O squad. Please click the subscribe button. I'd love to have you here. And uh, until next time, you guys, peace out.